There we there's go. one particular thing okay. where I didn't know what you're doing and I got hit by something I shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, I guess point it out when you see it, but there is some things where Milia is just, hi, I'm too fast, that will happen. <laughs> but let's see, off the top of my head, the thing that stood out to me, um, like... Um, I didn't know how to deal with, like, old Ash Oki. Like, I, you know, like, I didn't have meter, so you just, you know, oh, I don't have any sound. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I have it muted. I have just, like, other music going in the background. Ah. I wonder. All right, okay, I could mirror the audio so that you'd get it, but you'd also hear yourself, so. Oh. Shoutouts to VLC. So what in the world is this? Yeah, macro blocking really bad. No, not, ma not macro blocking. Uh, During the round start mm -hmm. like, when testing things is over it didn't switch camera angle like had yeah his movements oh yeah i guess it's not macro blocking but it's like the same root issue <laughs> it's just it's a vlc bug that i've run into a couple times yeah i've seen it in videos sometimes yeah mm -hmm. all right okay though, so let's see um before starting the main thing that stood out to me was that I think I was making it really hard for you to, like, control space with normals. Um, because, like, my my goal, I don't know if this is actually Milia's optimal goal, but, like, in the matchup. But my goal is to stand at a range where you can press slow buttons and they'll reach me, but then they're, like, you know, I have the chance to move and evade them. Um, but I'm still in my, like, dash threat range, which makes you, like, scared to press the normals. Um, so you ended up going to something that does work for you decently well, which is the, like, the super far run-up throw. Um, and then once you recognize that people are trying to jump it, going for the air throw. But those, um, uh, just, like, on risk-reward amounts average out to, or I would consider yeah, I mean, average out to losing. Because, like, you get a decent I, situation I, off of it, but it's so I, risky. I do need, like, some better way to enforce against jumping than air mm -hmm. throw honestly uh testament has a self like a mashable jump punch right i think uh, everyone does i don't what is that well the thing is like it's you know well the same problem is like i do something against you know jumping out mm -hmm. i rip like anytime like if i jump up i'm risking like testament's jump takes a while so i'm still risking people just running over and true true and um creating corner for no reason the honestly I, I, the I, the like low I mean, risk option is to run up and be like nice they jumped i have really good anti-airs and i will stop them from touching the ground yeah <laughs> uh, one thing i was I thought about earlier what there was also a bit of uh, like one thing I noticed was uh, the Oki of like when I didn't have meter you just full dash instead of doing ring or anything uh, ring or jump or anything oh off of uh, like the wall knockdowns and stuff yeah uh, yeah, I will just straight up do that, whether you have meter or not. Um, Testament's reversal is too slow. Uh, it changes whether I press close slash, um, uh, like, between close slash and 6H or whatever, if you don't have meter, and I'll press 2K if you do, because I can meet you with 2K and just block the reversal in time. Um, that is one where you yeah. just kind of have to hold it. Uh, because I also, I just, like, don't get disc off of wall break knockdown. Melia's <laughs> wall break is actually probably the worst in the game. Wild, but yeah, I know Leo can do the same thing with like back turn, uh, two kick, back turn kick. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, beats reversal. Well, yeah, he could do that with like the seven frame ones. Um, Testaments is just specifically so slow that you just like a lot of slower stuff recovers. So I, so I could probably beat that with, so what you're doing, then I can probably beat that with, uh, super PRC? Uh, yes. As long as you time it right. Uh, I think, like, super PRC throw would probably work. 
Let's see. Yeah, like I do. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't. Be much close play. though. I have, I have. Testament has a lot of frames to do it with. Which mm -hmm. is probably why. <laughs> True. Probably second to fa only to fast. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I don't know which one has longer pre-super freeze time. Fast. Uh, okay. Well, like, I don't know which one has more time pre-Super Freeze, but yeah, they're both really long, for sure. Alright. Two air... A fireball. Yeah, I think... Um, Actually, it might be... Like, one thing I probably want to try more is, um... Mm -hmm. Like, uh, dashing 5k. That, like, 5k is a really good move that I'm not using enough oh gotcha yeah testaments like light buttons in general are all super good so like 5k is like pretty like pretty good just i think it's safe like it's safe on block and it has good range for the speed mm -hmm. so like, that's a button that i see a lot see used a lot that i probably want to use more sure that makes sense Okay, though. Like, I, Good to go. Or what's up? Yeah. Okay. Throwing too much is just part of how I play fighting. <laughs> True. Is it, um... Well, right now, I think even with that, you're probably leaning into it a bit too much, but I'm guessing it's because it's, like, covering a hole in your game plan somewhere else where you're, like, not sure what other options to go for. So we'll just, uh, like, as we're watching this, we'll try and... Well, I, As the throws what, come up, figure out what, what other options there were. It's covering my lack of uh, mix-ups. Like, I don't know ways to... That's probably the big mm, core okay. takeaway. Is probably, I need... I know there's mix-ups to teleport, but, like, I don't know how to set them up without, you know, like, oh, I got knocked down, I'm going to throw out, throw out this, and then I'm going to do my high, my high little mix-up, you know. I'm sort of, like... Mm -hmm. It feels like I have to announce that I'm doing mix-up in order to actually do a mix-up. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll watch and see if anything jumps out at me, because I, like, I definitely don't like, know I, how Testament's that, mix theory works, like, I don't but... Think, I don't think that's something that's going to be bot reviewable to that. Yeah. That, that I didn't go for it, you think it would be something that I didn't try. T. Uh, what's Testament's hashtag, if you know or if you know Spiegel? I think it's like TE. Yeah, I think it's T. Yeah, yeah, I just added just that yeah. hashtag to the notes. Tournament edition. <laughs> okay, though, so let's right. see. Round start. This is one where I like I did all the round start labbing. Far slash is so just that, like that was that was a new thing I was trying on my end that I missed. What were you trying to um, do? Was it like dash six P or my, something? Yeah, micro dash six P. Gotcha. Yeah, so it just hit the startup. Okay. Yeah. So um, I. Honestly, you probably think, don't even need to micro-dash this. 6P does just crush this. Yeah, so there are... There are, like, some things that micro-dash 6P can hit that the normal one can't. So it's basically, like... Something I just try to, you know, beat some things in its bo boss with that I just trying out. Sure. It's probably not... Probably not good against Millie, because, like, anything... Because she has two fast buttons to try that against. Mm-hmm. It, so it's partially that and partially 6P is already part of the default uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, where it already beats Far Slash, but um, Dash 6P and Normal 6P will both just lose to uh, 2S and 5H, which are the other parts of the RPS. I think it might just be just 2S, actually. Um, it's a, I but, think so it's yeah, probably not against Milia, but like in general, sure, I can see the utility. Like, uh, like against... Particularly against a bit slower, like stubbier buttons, it's probably good. Mm -hmm. Or not stub. Like there's probably things, or it may have been just something where I probably could have just pressed six P in the first place. <laughs> yeah, but I'd hate it. worth testing uh, in casuals over tournament, right? Okay. Um, yeah. I actually wanted to. Let's see. So I get this, and there's the super wonky s disc knockdown did you try and jump here i'm guessing or um, do you remember i 
think I tried. Well, it says counter hit. Oh, so it, I, wow. Okay, I. So I pressed the button. <laughs> okay, yeah. I uh, I, I mean, did I not have... notice the counter hit thing over there. I, what well, I'm, I may have uh tried to uh, throw tech. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Sometimes you just get a knockdown. I tried so hard to bait that burst. It didn't work. You still got me with it. Yep. Okay, one thing mm -hmm. that... Was I this another throw more... attack, or...? No. I think that was backdash. Uh, well, this or... one got counter hit. I'm not sure, but I was saying, like, I do need to... Because I... Like, I do need to do more, uh... Two, like, empty, uh, teleports. So, like, instead of normal jump in, do empty teleport to face HP and punish it. Oh, sure, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, real quick, I am... I don't know, but I'm gonna make a note here on this throw tech, um, to look at what, like, defensive options you're going for on Wake Up, um, versus how often you just, like, hold the pressure. I don't hold pressure enough. Okay, this happens sometimes. This means that I uh, I didn't recognize it in time, but I can just... Well, I can and actually just straight up should press 6H here immediately. But uh, yeah, on, on this situation, you can backdash as a callout against throw, but uh, both close slash and 6H will just cover backdash, so she is particularly good at covering it. I didn't have pressure to go for that throw dash, dash up. Right, let me rewind. Like, I saw this situation and heard a weird noise on my computer, so I looked away. Yeah, so... Yeah. Like, I didn't have... That situation was just that I should not have gone through that. I probably should have uh, thrown out another fire... thrown another fireball or mm -hmm. do crow to... So I need to establish more pressure where I can even go. I mostly agree. Um, this is already like you are in a required Hail Mary situation. Um, and because the little succubus thing over here is chilling here, I'm like worried about should, Crow. Um, there's which, A, Crow I, would be good. I, but. There is something I could do, stupid. Uh, teleport uh, PRC throw? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will say... Um, or they're really... Or the really stupid teleport PRC air and jump air throw. <laughs> See, I, you do a uh, teleport PRC backdash because I'm so used to Dre's fucking scarecrow shit that I see PRC or like a teleport move like that, and I am I generally like throw him out of the PRC startup <laughs> because I'm like, oh here it comes, uh, which is definitely very risky if they just jump. <laughs> Like, oh. There's like teleport is like just pure punishable if mm -hmm. I don't scare see it. The other thing you can do here is just like walk up to like this range probably and just like slash. press yeah, press like slash or 2s or whatever. Because you have like very good mid range control at this point as this character. Um so, it may be like what I may want to focus on is Stop caring about mix-up and just do mid-range control until they get impatient and get hit by it. Right. Um, if you haven't just, had it, uh, like, described in this way before, this might actually help quite a bit. Um, so you know how there's, like, left-right mix-ups and high-low mix-ups and, like, strike-throw mix-ups and all that? Um, you can think of space control as, like, stop-go mix-ups because if uh think of it like with happy chaos as like the ultimate example because he fucking auto aims um Definitely just jumped onto my microphones trying to get the <laughs> thing i was playing uh no worries it didn't come through at all or anything either but no he jumped on the other microphones oh gotcha <laughs> oh i don't think you heard anything okay yeah hopefully they're okay but uh yeah so happy chaos does 
like stop versus move pressure where if you move wrong he gets like a bunch of damage and good screen positioning and if you stop then he's just like chilling because he's in the situation he wants to be in um testament can do something sort of similar where it's like okay i'm standing here like if you're standing roughly here maybe like a okay uh swap our positions here in your mind <laughs> so that you're not cornered but if you're like just holding this range and like walking back and forth then you always have the threat of like hey i have this giant scythe that you have to watch out I, for i think even cornered like like i'm not fully cornered you're still at True. mid screen Mm -hmm. Like, also, the thing is, like, I hit you and I, like, you know, let's say you block everything and I hit you. I'm no longer cornered. Yeah, yeah, you have pushed so me I out still, and, like, fought the space I back. Get, yeah, I get advantage even if you do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I am getting better, like, sometimes do, doing occasional, like, double fireballs to catch people trying to jump out. Sure, yeah. I yeah, I think you much, caught me with just, that at least once. But... Like, it doesn't get much besides just you can't just jump out of crow mm -hmm. and crow is very good crow is definitely like another potentially good option here all of them do carry risk and like this specifically is a fucked up situation because of your health <laughs> but <laughs> yeah and this also this is not necessarily me calling out a throw um i like i know i'm fighting you so i know that the chances of throw are like higher than normal but this is actually me being like okay i have so much life i don't want to try and overcommit to pushing my advantage i want to just reset to neutral and have the life lead because i'm like i if i can win neutral even once and then i saw the throw and punished but yeah yeah so that was that round start, mm -hmm. like, all right. So I know you. I think you were looking for fireball. So I think I just didn't empty jump back. Yeah. So uh, actually, what I was looking yeah. for here was I'm like, is he going to six p? Because I pressed four slash last time. But then yeah, I saw you jump, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna chill. Here comes the fireball. Wait, there's no fireball. <laughs> And then I saw the fireball <laughs> and went, well, oh did, god, never mind. I did the fireball, be like, the fireball there was, like, oh, I'm safe to just throw it up. Like, yep. there's no pun. Yeah, this was a super, super good fireball. fireball. Like, I think yeah. I technically could have punished it if I instantly did, like, super jump air dash on seeing the startup. And even that's kind of iffy. <laughs> so, super good fireball for sure. Yeah, like, well, I... Did the round start just uh, empty dash, jump back dash? Mm -hmm. Like, because I didn't want to commit to anything. Yeah, yeah. Low commitment is generally the best. Okay, VLC, please unbreak. Thank you. <laughs> and then, yeah, that was... Uh, both of those swings were very good, like, attempts at space control. Because I'm, like, I'm pretty clearly sticking to the ground here. And, like, I am trying to bait things out, first, but... Mm -hmm. First one wasn't very good, because that is... 6H is badly punishable on whiff. Like, I True, shouldn't be whiffing but, that button. Well, what you're trying to do here... This is also just part of the way this matchup works, because Millie is, like, so fast that sometimes you have to. But, like, I tried to run under Crow here. That does not work. And from here, I'm like, oh, no. Uh, if I hit Testament, Stain goes away. So I need to try and do that. And then I like I ran up and you like you stuffed with 2s, which uh, I is like low enough recovery. I cannot with punish that on reaction by any means. Yeah. Like uh, active, active, active. Ah, uh, yes, it's already gone. <laughs> so I, I like I try and pull up, but yeah, more like good defensive, like fairly low commit old movement. I'd have to really, really try something big to challenge here. Your VLC, what the fuck? Yeah, you're Man. like, you're doing a good job of boxing me out here. Um, This one is just a, like, I call out that you're going to do... Yeah, 
let's see, I see the 2S, and I'm like, okay, this won't punish, but I'm gonna try and stuff an immediate follow-up, which is the reason I hit you here, but, like, yeah, that's just, like, neutral. That just happens. <laughs> I think that yeah. that whole sequence, though, um... Honestly, yeah, the whole, like, start of this round, I think, was very good. With, like you were saying, yeah. the possible exception of the 6Hs, but the nice thing about 6H for you is that it does, um... I think there was another one in here. Oh no, okay, maybe not. But it covers specifically both me air dashing and ground dashing in. So you're yeah, like, you're yeah. taking the bigger risk to cover both. Yeah, it is the thing, like, Milia's first B is not that I can, you know, I can hit you from throwing out farther away, mm -hmm. but it's also Amelia's first beat enough that you can punish it from farther away. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Such is the life of speed character and fighting the speed character. Also, I'm gonna be honest, anytime we see this on the screen, I'm just going to skip past it because, like, this is the uh huh, good luck screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I actually remember here, I, uh, I really did not think that this second 6h hit was gonna wall splat i was trying to go for the uh the keep corner route so we go back to mid screen here and i'm curious what you do um I okay that... well it works <laughs> but um, um i think that was i think that's um too much trying to play the player yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, it it did work, but the risk here, so the reason why you get away with the full dash is the same reason that Ballfrog could fucking throw me as Axel so often, which is your buttons are way bigger than mine. I expect that you are trying to pull up to, like, this range and press something, and by the time I realize that, oh no, he's just going, you're already in. But this is, like, risking me moving out of the way or stuffing it or whatever uh, especially against other spacing characters this will probably not work nearly as well like i i don't know why i went for it honestly <laughs> <laughs> the hail mary uh, uh, okay you know what it my guess would be is uh so do 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 this happened and Okay, not here, but, like, slightly earlier, is when you'd want to burst. So I'm curious if you, like, checked your burst here and went, Oh, I no, I burst. don't have burst. And then you heard burst on this and went, I have burst. I'm going to use burst. <laughs> yeah, it, it does work out. Yep, in the air throw. Um, right, that, yeah, that, that's just, the, I, like, the safety throw. Us. No, that's nerve. Ah, uh, okay. I, like, I... Just nerves off of. Uh, I got air throw. Like air throw, I want need to combo off of this. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, wait, yeah. I can't combo off it because I it's RC too early. Mm -hmm. So in this situation, uh, also because you do go for the like the super committal air throw. Um, at the range it happened, I think five K would have just hit me here. But <laughs> yeah, like same frame jump. Holy shit. Um, but also I'm like like slightly different against milia just because of how she works but staying on the ground and being like i have a hundred meter you're going to try and land somewhere i have like i have a great 6p you've got the anti-air fireballs right. you've got all sorts of all right so thing to thing to lab for me um mm -hmm. just combos off of 6p rc like combos off or just combos off of 6p yep uh 6p Counter hit 6p and 6p red Roman cancel. Okay, made a note. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, this air throw, you basically get away with because I whiffed the 6p. <laughs> Burst burst NA. <laughs> Alright, so that 6H was just not recognizing the combo. 
All right, so two things. Yeah. So okay. I'm here. Um, I need to del delay the fireball in order to get the double hit. Hit, and I need to not input the six H until I have some fun walls left. In fact, I shouldn't go for six H. I should go for murder and get staying on the startup. Make sure to only six H on splat or even better just do crow <laughs> okay like so execution what was just not charge charging up the it dropped because i didn't charge up the charge up fireball and i only got a single hit fire. okay only single hit gotcha okay yeah and then, yeah, that basically is what led to me directly getting this knockdown. And now I am Milia with 100 meter. How did I get hit there and not on the cross up? So let me. Okay, I think I did this too late. So I was still same side. Um, or I, th I think this got auto blocked basically. And then I'm guessing you tried to throw. Yeah, yeah. No punish. Is it? Well, it's counter. Oh. Yeah. Oh, counter. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, like, trying to throw there is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I get thrown out of that a lot. But it is specifically a, oh, I think they're going to drop this check. Um, because I definitely, like, have the ability to just make that a true string. Oh... Ooh, I should have used the other super. Ah, I guess it didn't matter, but. Okay, and then this is backdash, I think. Nope. Bro? I tried back. No, it's not counter. So I'm confused. This looks like an air hit from the way it hits, but like. Oh. You're definitely hit grounded. I. It may have been. I may have, like. If it was nerves, it may have. May have been. I tried to block standing and block two standing. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. But either way, this is another one where. Like. Uh, okay, actually. I was going to say this is one where. Just, like, kind of holding it is fine. And then I realized my meter and your life, this is just a several-way guess for game. Because <laughs> I could do, like, instant overhead, instant low, uh, throw, or cross-up here. <laughs> so this is just, like, once you're in this situation, if you make it out, congrats, you cheated death. Rather than, like, oh, this was a bad decision here or anything. <laughs> yeah. Cause like it wasn't a counter hit or and backdash wouldn't have been hit at that point. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was just like a normal hit and then because of the like because it killed then the second hit just like bounces you and I've just never seen it because I always cancel off of it or something. I have no idea. Okay, let's see. Round start here. Yeah, so this is me trying to call out uh 6P again. But, yep, you are just out of there. And defaulting yeah, I... to that, like, sort of defensive um, round start is generally what I would recommend. Because, like, you're giving up space, which is important for a space control character like Testament. But I could tell you right now that Milia loses most round starts head-to-head. -head, uh, and so that is exactly what I do. I either walk back, or I, like, jump forward block, or I ensnare backdash as the majority of my round starts. I think I'm just like I think I'm doing it to be safe and then throwing fireball if I think I if I think I can get away with it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Just no. Okay. I went for your throw. Yep. Why yep. did I go So let's see. I'm actually curious on this. Okay, no, that is an attack. I wasn't sure if that was a run up throw or not, but that was, I'm guessing, expecting me to fireball. backdash. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that's. I'm not sure if I. Mm -hmm. I think I was throwing out air, air fireball to cover jumping. Ah, gotcha. Okay. 
Um, so actually thinking about it, I think you might have a specific habit of going for the super dash throw or air throw after burst. Um, it is very common for people to have habits directly after hitting or getting hit by burst, I've found. But yeah, I was like looking for it there. Also, but no counter hit, so I didn't get a conversion. And see, like, this I... is actually, this is a really good example of a spot where you chose a different anti-air, and it was really good. Because, like, if you had done a jump air throw here, I would have counter hit jump SU again. Yeah, I need to do more just jump punch, jump S, and anti-air fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, when you're doing them, it's very hard for me to, like, get around I... the screen. And that teleport, I should have if I'm going to press the button here, it needs to be jump A because that hits behind. Oh, yeah, okay, that's important. If if I do teleport, I don't auto correct. Teleport into air and press a button. Always JK. Okay. Always JK on cross up. On cross up. Okay. Because, like, nothing else is going to do anything mm -hmm. i yeah, th this is like just normal neutral like you're doing well at space control stuff and then i just well, okay unless this is supposed to be a big old dash throw um because this is you're um, like trying to claim a lot of space here which is kind of risky i probably should have done 5k so thank you practice uh not practice for like, I do need to use a 5k more to, uh, control, to quick, to test space. Yeah, um, actually, I'm gonna change this slightly. Pulling up to claim space, here to think about the amount. I think the big thing is like uh I need more just run up buttons to claim space and not mm -hmm. I need to be fine with I think the bigger big way is like I need to be fine with a uh, run up button to claim space rather than having to claim like when run up I need to be fine with just claiming space rather than trying to go for a win. This mm -hmm. I need to just go for space rather than going for a mix-up. Testament is not a character that can just run up mix-up very well. Yep. I think that's a very good insight there. Yeah, I think that's that's a big part of like why I'm taking too many risks, is I'm trying to win on the run-up winning off of claiming space. Yeah. I, so I'm not sure that this is correct, but my guess would be that you have a similar issue um, as I do with defense, where I like super do not trust my defense. So I'm like, if I stay in this situation, I am losing, not because it's like losing for my character, but because like, I think that I am not well, super great I'm, at it. So I like try and force well, something. To be fair, if I'm facing Milia and I'm relying on defense, why am well, I okay. doing yeah, it? I've, for you, I'm saying, like, for the space control neutral stuff, I'm saying for me, it's, yeah. I'm like, I don't trust my defense. I need to gamble to get out. And I'm like, gambling is Milia is bad. <laughs> I need to not do that. As, but I'm wondering if it's, like, I don't, a level I don't of comfort. Yeah. I, I don't trust my offense. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't trust my offense, just space control. Yeah, so instead you try and, like, force a big gamble which that like makes sense but uh, i wish i had better advice on like how to practice being okay with that besides just being like all right i'm gonna do the thing <laughs> but that's what i'm trying to do for defense but, all right if okay. you catch me doing full run up like run up throw just slap me <laughs> <laughs> i will look over and say no <laughs> Also, let me just make sure that there's nothing in here, because I 
I'm watching a VOD review. I see 2D. Um, my eyes glaze over. Yep. I sure did hit I someone as Melia. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's one where it's like, that is not a failure. That is just like a... Uh... Okay, and this right here is what I was talking about, where I ran up and just did 2D or 2K. And if I was... Hmm. See, if I was smart, I would just buffer another move behind this instead of trying to visually confirm a single hit. But... Oh, no, no, never mind, sorry. I had decided uh, the 2k throw beforehand. So, I... Did I, like, back backdash him properly? Uh... I'm not sure. Let me see. I... What was that? <laughs> uh... Approach? I think you were probably trying to fuzzy jump and mistimed it. The only other thing I could think of was if I... Did something really stupid and tried to super here. <laughs> I mean, it's possible because not, not out of my uh, you know. Well, up until this point, every one of these knockdowns, I had gone for either close slash or six H. So like, I hadn't shown this option yet. So I don't think it was like necessarily bad to go for a super or anything. Uh, it would not but, have worked, but it's one of those things where sometimes you just gotta see. Well, but I also didn't get a button because I didn't get counter hit. True. Something I could have done here if I recognized it, you know, get hit once and try to super if there's a gap. Mm -hmm. Though, um, most of the Although, times that I'd gone here, it was from, like, comboable normals. So it would have been, like, single hit, and then you're just dead. Uh, if I had done any not-this option, specifically. So, so this is another one where just, like, the plate, the situation is super rough. You may have been, like, trying to call it backdash. Hmm. So um, I've been let's trying. See. So I am trying to do backdash a lot more on defense. Mm-hmm. It can be I good for sure. Like it's helping, but I am getting caught doing it. Yeah, that is backdashes in this game are much worse than they were in Exerd. But yeah, it's still like. And I've never, I didn't use them in Exerd, so I'm just now trying to like. Imp I'm just trying to implement a new tool, and I think I need to do that with YRC too. Sure. Like, yeah. Start doing YRC to get out rather than super to get out. mm Hmm. YRC is good, though. <laughs> you do have to block the initial mix. But that can but, be fine. You know, but it's Milia. No, it's like, but it's you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to super out of the mix. Fair. <laughs> okay. What is the round start? Yeah, <laughs> We both are just like, I'm scared. No press. <laughs> Which... Honestly, overall, is probably a win for you, because you get to claim space more directly. But, yeah, just covering the ground there. That's 6H, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, so that was, that was a backdash callout. Yeah. No, I was going to say, I think this one's fine. I was just curious about the animation. Okay. Yeah, good burst point, by the way. Because uh, any point before that, and I can just... Like, if I block here... But here I like I have to immediately jump cancel button, so it's a hard call out. <laughs> this though, so remember what I said earlier about the habit of burst into throw or air throw? That is what this is. Into land. Oh god, I'm gonna throw again because they tried to whiff punish me. <laughs> Which I am actually also late to punish, but <laughs> So I should have died I should have lost the round here. Uh Milia doesn't do quite that much damage. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it would have been a it would have been a bad spot for sure. Um, this is another situation where honestly, even pulling up to like here, and cycling between like far slash and six p to just be like, no, this space is mine, is probably what you'd want as your like default option. Yeah, I should just run up slash far slash is mm -hmm. what I think I need to be my default. Just to yeah. get to the point where I can I touch you as far slash then do fireball move a little bit forward, touch you with far slash again. 
Yeah, I think that that would be really good. And that would, um... So, like, obviously the throws here, like, they didn't work out, but they also didn't get you directly punished. Sorry. But you were still in this, like, awkward scramble situation right afterwards. Like, I'm punished because you're out of comp. You're out of corner. Yeah. I'm punished because I lost space as a space control. Thing. Basically, yeah. Oh, let's see. Yep. Big counter hit there. And, well, now I'm back in the corner. Also, I do want to point out, I definitely did not backdash this on purpose. I reacted way late. It whiffed. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I saw it, and I'm like, oh, I got real lucky. <laughs> yeah, so it goes three-quarter screen. It's anywhere between one-quarter screen to three-quarter screen. Mm -hmm. Full screen, and point blank, it just whiffs. Gotcha. Yeah, right, right. I remember that. So I, so this, that move I seems really well, bad. It's really... Yeah, it's a... It exists as a plus one. Like, any other option for it. Like, there are specific things you can punish with, like, <clears throat> item. Fair. But, oh, yeah, that'd but be... Hmm. There are certain things you can punish with it. But other than that, it exists as a plus one. And I'm doing it here because you're game makes it fairly safe. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'm still getting it <laughs> This is very risky, by the way, but I'm not sure you recognized where I had moved to. Um, I should have been throwing out Jump Slash. You, well, more than anything, you basically want to be um, directly where you are, but, like, on the ground and trying to control from like around here or even slightly further back because like, even if you're out of range of your own buttons i have to move and like commit for a while before i get to you so you can just sit there and be like hello you are in the cage i am not going to hit you but i'm going to hit you if you try and leave <laughs> so i think this was trying to get you from leaving in the air yeah well, um, that's more sort so, of what I'm saying, is, like, this covers the air as, like, a direct callout. If you wait here and see me jump, then you can, like, jump and stay over here and do, like, a rising jump S or something to yeah, cover space. So, so I think as a thing, the, like, if I am going to try to cover space here, mm -hmm. even as a, if I'm trying to do a hard callout, just don't air dash. Just do empty jump. If I'm trying to do a hard call out. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like, that way... Because I, I... There are a bunch of times where... This hasn't happened just against you, but... I do the hard call out, and... They go on the ground. And... Mm -hmm. Oops. I don't... Oh, and, and now you are in the corner. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, why I'll do I see it. Why do I do this and yeah. so i, I say, thought that this no... counter hit an air throw to be honest it counter hit jump k yeah not well when i hit there gotcha yeah in the moment i'm like oh here comes an air throw and so i did back dash jump s <laughs> i think this just drops yeah because i'd already used air dashes and this is like this is why you have the habit of doing the full pull up thing because if you can actually get there, which, by the way, did I that? this was supposed to be a 5p, not a 6p. So <laughs> it worked out for you. But uh, when it does work, then you're like, nice, I am now in my win condition. If And then I oof, Ouchie. Oof. That, I, that feels bad. <laughs> like, I don't know how that even happened. I hit the... I overdashed. Gotcha. But yeah, that is cursed. That is cursed as hell. So, like, I can only microdash there if I, like, going more than a microdash just uh, moves you to the other side. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of Geo's combo routes that work the same way, so I am unfortunately familiar with how that goes. What, what was the interaction here? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I just expected that you would commit to something to escape the corner and was trying to chase. So. 
Yeah, I need to just fun my way out of corner. Yeah, it or at least have that. Well, okay, I'd say either button or like dash block be the default out of corner options. I forgot that they did the cool straight up smear frame thing in this game. Okay, and also this was actually very good defense throughout this because you like you got knocked down and you're like, okay, I'm respecting the thing because even if I throw you here, I cannot kill you. Um, if you get hit by like, uh, no, the the damage is too low. Like I'd put you through the wall, but it wouldn't be with super. Um, but if I get like a counter hit six H, which is what I went for here, then I could kill you. So blocking this out was like very good on just a risk reward level. I go. Yep. I'm not sure. Wait. I see. What's up? So was that calling out back dash? Uh, let me watch it again. Uh, no, it wasn't. It just like I tried to go for a very large gap reset that just happened to be late enough that it caught backdash. Also, this was supposed to be disc, not uh, 2H. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm guessing was... this was like throw or something. I'm guessing that was punch. I wouldn't... No, it was throw. Okay. That's the throw animation. So you probably... Let's see. That is yeah. panic. Yeah, I mean, also, uh, a lot of the time, I would do, like, a tick throw set up there, because the throw would kill, so. Er, the throw would maybe kill, I'm actually not sure. But again, the, uh, like, guessing wrong in situations like this is not actually something that, unless it is a very consistent, like, misunderstanding of the risk-reward, it's never, like, an issue, the more question like the bigger question is getting into the situation in the first place which is kind of a tragedy in this case but <laughs> yeah still though i think that uh there were some very good takeaways from the match here um, especially on like the focusing on space control stuff focusing on space control actually the big thing about like people jumping out is like, if I think I'm going to do that, just why? Like, because people aren't going to want to like just jump and then go back into corner. Mm -hmm. They're going, and Testament has, you know, an okay six <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. It's just like if they try to like do anything at, at me, I can just six p it and like, you know, I hit them. Cool, I could counter at six p, and then I can do a new new combo that I'm going to be have to uh, have after this. Mm -hmm. I'll see here. I'm sending they, you the screenshot of the notes that I was taking. Yeah, they... You know... They block... You know, they block it. Oops, you're in corner again. Yep. And then you've got that has, position. Yep. Like, with okay. the Arbor sign, I... Like, I mainly use it, like, as sort of, like, you're just hold, like, you're just holding block and corner. I'm just going to see if I can uh, smack you with this. Mm -hmm. And I generally only do it with stain because it's kind of worthless without stain. That's yeah, stain is really good, too, if you can find more ways to work that into your pressure. Um... I was thinking, one thing, if I didn't have Succubus up, I could use it after a fire, fireball. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was saying, Ooh. I was saying, like, if I, you know, if they're just jumping out of, like, splash something, it's an anti-air. Mm -hmm. How hot is your close slash hit, by the way? How hot? Is it, How like... What? Is your close slash decent at anti airing as well? I don't know. Okay. That's something to mess I've, with too. It I imagine it would be. Alright. 
but I've not tried uh, anti-hearing with that. <laughs> Fair enough. It can be like a weird one for sure. Um, okay. I I'm just gonna look at the hitbox real quick since we're out. Sure. Uh, I am probably gonna hop off and go um, fight Moon River real quick, but uh, I, I will also send you the like. So I sent you the notes. I'll send you the recording and stuff too when it gets uploaded. So it hits as high as testing. Okay. Like it hits up to right below the top. Gotcha. All right. So I'm right. gonna head to bed. Sounds right. good. GG's for sure. All right. Good games. Mm -hmm. All right. GG's, Charlie.